Hello, and welcome to This and That. I'm Dave Lees. And I'm Jonathan Byer. Hi. Hi. And for those of you who are new here, this is The Skating Lesson. We are going to discuss all things previewing the Canadian and United States Figure Skating Championships. So if you are new, subscribe below, smash that like button, and ring that bell so you know when we upload things, because lots are in the works. I'm no longer sick, Jonathan. What, how has your week been? My week has been great, but I think we need to focus in on your sweater because it's exciting me because it's it's reminding me of some like famous Pears programs I'm recalling, uh, the Germans or P maybe Kyoko Ina. I need you to talk it out. <laughs> All right. I saw it in Macy's when I was going on Black Friday because my whole family goes Black Friday shopping. We're very Jersey. And we picked okay. out presents for each other. And I saw this and it reminded me of a sweater someone wore at the 88 Men's Nationals. And I... It has this, which I don't like, but I'm like, if I do this oh, okay. just right, it gives the look that I'm going for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice choice. Nice choice. So I'm like, it's, it's that stripe. Yeah. It's old school skating. I feel like we're going to like do a nice figure, stretch our leg, very Robin Cousins, mm -hmm. you know, the kind of thing I'm going for. So athletic and elegant all yes, at the same time. All at the same I time. I commend you. It's yeah. my aesthetic, okay? Okay. Did okay. you finish spinning out? You know, we Okay. We're... So I was like four and a half episodes mm -hmm. in and I have not uh revisited spinning out. Not because I'm opposed to it. I just need to like find a chunk of time did to Did Ludwig like return from Germany or something? Like, oh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did I but know? There it is. And probably not a spinning out time. But it worked out perfectly because that's what I was taking my Christmas tree down to. Oh, good. Was, was spinning out. So now I just need to do some other fun house project while I watch spinning out. Okay. You cannot be doing another house project, but you have to watch Cheer. And I know that you're going to be like, uh, about it, but no. Cheer? Yeah. Okay. So you need to talk this out because you said to me, have you been watching Cheer? I watched it twice. Okay. And explain to me what it is because i thought it was going to be like spinning out and that it was a made-up drama but you were saying this is an actual documentary this is a documentary about totally different i will i i would consider watching that competitive cheerleading okay in texas i'm gonna do a video on this because like i of course have gone like in depth into this in the last well, when did all of these scandals take place because i almost feel like i remember you talking to me about some of the scandals as they were happening were you privy to them before or was this scandals the first time? in the show? Like I was just watching the show and telling you what's happening in each episode. It was so fantastic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, we have gays, we have black gays, we have white gays, we have people we aren't sure if they're out or not because it's Texas. We have girls that were literally taken from the trailer. We have girls that are said that if it weren't for cheerleading, they would be in jail. They're at a junior college, Navarro, outside of Dallas in Corsicana, Texas. Okay, and they, you don't even know. There is this woman. She is hot for her age. She's wearing the tight pants, a nice Apple watch, like a nice billowy. Her body is on point, and she is, her name is Monica Aldama, okay? And okay. she is coaching some of the biggest trash you will ever see. And like really- and these are, So these are real people? Real people. And they're being portrayed by actors or no. they're just being interviewed? They're being interviewed and, okay. and okay. filmed. And okay. they are, um, she's, she is very clear that she thinks it's her role in life to help them and to have them learn life lessons through cheerleading, which they always say. Of course, she doesn't win, need to win any more titles. But no. I, <laughs> I like Monica. I have some okay. Monica in me. It made me like want to coach synchro teams and really yell at the girls. Um, okay. But she doesn't really yell. And when girls are like, they practice on a mat that's not like a gymnastics mat. It doesn't have like the spring loaded or anything. So they're coming down when they're doing their pyramid. They're falling down the hard floor. Girls are getting concussions left and right. Uh. And I don't know if they put microphones on the floor because they can't. I realize they can't be microphoning the people they are uh you know the 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 cheerleaders that they're following throughout the story the ones that have the narrative arcs because mm -hmm. they can't have like a mic pack on them when they're throwing contorting in the air and then being caught no, could you imagine some sort of like yeah <laughs> wire or something that oh would be God, terrible they're getting hurt enough as it is so right. they don't was... also need to asphyxiate <laughs> on like sound equipment so I think it's possible that they amped up some of the sounds when they get caught of like how much it hurts and everything but oh my God, they, they did such a good job with the storytelling. So the people that made this documentary made one about football that of course I didn't watch because who cares. But um, and apparently that was quite good. And they say that this is even better. And I agree. Great. 
Okay, and um, you watched it on Netflix? Netflix, six episodes. Okay. Oh my God, Jonathan. This one girl named Morgan, she's really pretty. She has no, te- she has terrible leaps. She's got like no real technique, but she's a good flyer. And Monica says she has the look. But what does that mean if someone's a good flyer? Like they're they, good in the air? Yeah, you can toss okay. them in the air and they can flip and then come down and be caught in the basket. Okay. Oh, okay. And, and Morgan is her parents, obviously, broken home. She's from Wyoming. Population 208 in her town, as they taught us oh, on Netflix. Oh, gosh. Right? <laughs> I, I'm already, like, anxious about that. Okay. Morgan, she's very pretty. People might think that she's rich because she has a very um, attractive Instagram feed. However, Morgan was, okay, the mother abandoned them when they were children, her and her brother. Her father got remarried to some stepmother who obviously just wanted the father to focus on her kids. So he left his son and daughter in a trailer that he bought for them and just let them fend for themselves. And, like, no idea if he left them lunch money or not. We learned that Morgan is 96.6 pounds when she has a weigh-in. And it doesn't seem like there was a lot of um, eating going on. They were eating ramen noodles. But Monica really feels that Morgan is a pleaser. And it's why she likes her so much. And because she has the you look. Think? Yeah, I mean, but hello. all of these kids that are doing this cheerleading, they all have, like, a messy backstory. Like, the best ones are all a little crazy. Like, they have a lot of... There are some that you fall in love with. There are some that you root for. But you know they're just going to really disappoint you at the end. It's very fascinating. It's about, like, putting a team dynamic together. a bunch together. of Tanyas. A bunch of Tanyas. Yeah. People that make Tanya look like quit your bitching. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That aren't, like... They are... Um, there's a lot going on. There's this kid, okay. Jerry, who's like the heart of the series. Um, so they didn't follow everyone because they only have, you know, so many narrative arcs. But yeah, the, the one girl who said that she would be in jail if not for cheerleading, she wasn't really kidding. Um, so well, yeah, if you're talking about these kinds of backgrounds, the structure and like the kind of family support system that that could provide. I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah. So it's really kind of interesting when you watch it because the way that they do the narrative with the people is what is the most interesting and they're trying to get them to work together to put this darn pyramid up and yada yada. it's all very well, okay, you don't see, need to like cheerleading i need to clarify because i was viscerally rejecting this suggestion because i thought it was like a scripted drama no. like spinning out but about cheerleading and i was no. like i'm sorry i can't i can't but now that i know it's this kind of docu-series that sounds it's a much docu-series more and it's okay i i hope that they get a season two i need to know what's happening to these people also jonathan they take a class in Texas. We need to look at our Texas skaters askance. When you learn from people from Texas, like you need to be looking at them with a little bit of side eye. Not only do they take US history, you are required to take a Texas government class. And during this, during this series, there is a teacher who in front of cameras is explaining to these students, many of them are not the brightest, about okay. all of uh, <clears throat> Texas government and what people in Texas believe. And she is telling you don't know what the whole people of Texas, but I remember this text. Yeah, this is horrifying. Okay. Okay. This woman who seems very nice, but she's talking about the traditional values we believe in Texas. Okay. And she is talking to a room full of black gays who one has been molested. One, his mother has died. One, the one that was molested, the mother was in jail. And she's like, you know, marriage is between a man and a woman. (laughs) And, and, you know, know, she's packing heat constantly. I mean... (laughs) I felt that the, I felt that the people who edited this documentary were really smart because every time they talked about like, you know, Monica's rules and if there are failed drug tests, obviously they get kicked off the team. They always knew which person to show in the B roll on screen. Like they they knew right. what the viewers were thinking. Okay. Right. Right. They taught. There's this one who's an Instagram influencer. But she has a lisp, and so does her mother, and her parents are horrifying. They are milking her for every last cent, like the prized ham, okay? And they are just on her. And it seems like maybe her skills are deteriorating. She doesn't seem as fit as some of the other girls, but she's very good at the cheering. But (laughs) you can tell that they keep... They keep referencing like when their time is up and how this is it. They're not going to go do this professionally. This is... 
this is it. And this is that and, moment. Okay. Yeah. And they were kind of talking about how she's past her prime. And you were looking and you're like, and they would always show her on screen. And you were like, mm, mm, I see it. I see it. Okay. So okay. anyway, it's fascinating. I recommend it. I, I watched it twice. I have a lot of thoughts. I'm fascinated. Okay. I love the South, Jonathan. I like country music. Country music was on in the rink yesterday. I'm into it. Okay. okay. I love these people. They are just so fascinating okay. to me. <laughs> well, my sister's in Texas. I like Texas a lot. Where in Texas? Uh, just uh, She used to be outside of Dallas. And then now she's outside of Austin. Near Corsicana? <clears throat> like what, you know? She was near, She was in Grapevine. I don't know, I don't know enough of not the, the same, Jonathan. geography. Yeah, no. I, I have a feeling not. <laughs> I think she might be near maybe uh, the World Olympic Gymnastics Academy with Nastia and Nikki Childs okay. and all okay. those girls. They're in right. Plano. We know them well. Okay. Okay. Texas geography. Oh, my goodness. But for as much as a rap like sometimes a place like Texas gets... The the classical music scene all throughout Texas in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin. You like did that opera, incredible. you were recognized in Texas. You, you have a fan base. That, oh, that was Amarillo. Yeah, yeah it really I mean, was. Yeah, mm -hmm. they really get it. They really get it. They're very competitive in Texas. Mm -hmm. Everything's bigger and brighter. You know, the higher the hair, the closer to God. I'm into all yes. of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that my... is your scene. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> my girls. Oh yes. That's right. And uh, yeah, but I'm now the Cane, the Canes are where they're outside of Houston, right? No, aren't the Canes in Dallas at the Dr Pepper Center? I oh, I don't, I don't recall. Okay, I don't know. If we liked them more, we would know. But... Right. Okay. <laughs> now let me just drink this water. <laughs> <laughs> like I could tell you a lot about some of these skaters. I'm like some of them. Right. Like, mm. Yeah. Less mm. so. Okay. Less so. It's fine. Okay. Anyway, the Canes. <laughs> Not invested, okay? Yeah. Same. Monica Aldama and these cheerleaders, very invested, okay? Okay. Twice, yeah. <laughs> Not once, but twice, okay. okay? Would consider a third viewing if anyone wants to come over. <laughs> okay, amazing. Have you decided where you're going to skate, Jonathan? Oh, I sure haven't, Dave. I'm so far behind. Okay, I'm in, uh, just a total side note, I'm in this opera now that I found out about a little bit last minute. Mm -hmm. So I'm like drowning in French syllables and I'm so far behind that but if I have Jersey. a spare minute. Yeah, in Jersey of all places. You take the train every morning? I, t I am a New Jersey transit regular at the moment. So New Jersey transit is awful. It's rated one of the worst in the country. Okay. Um, it's been yeah. fine for me. It was when actually I came back into the city last night and it was like all the Jersey crowds looking to come party in the city for the night. That's no. when I was like, Do you have to oh, transfer at Secaucus? Cause that always really annoys me. No, uh, this is in New Brunswick, so it just goes straight New it Brunswick. It goes straight, good, okay. Because a yeah. lot of them, you have to transfer at New Brunswick to go to other ones. I uh, not to transfer to Caucus to go to I... other places on the other corridors. Okay. So anyway, yes. God. These are things like we just don't know about, you know, they- yeah, we're all caught up on the NJ Transit. <laughs> caught up on the NJ Transit scene. Is there anyone that has a little bit of Jersey attitude? Like, oh, do you sense the... it? Yeah. Whoa. You know, it's primarily not people from there. Oh. I mean, yeah, so it's, everyone's just converging in New Brunswick at the moment. I would like you to just, like, see if you sense it, you know? If, is okay. it in the air? Okay. Uh, well, it, it feels much more like a college town than anything else. New well, Brunswick is, yeah, I yeah. imagine. So, so. That's, that's the overriding vibe I'm getting. Okay. All right. I, I've never yeah. spent a lot of time in New Brunswick. It wasn't my scene, so I did not go to Rutgers. I probably should have, but I didn't. Story for another day, okay? Okay, all right. <laughs> anyway, let's start on the Canadian Nationals because, Jonathan, this, I mean, it's very interesting. Obviously, this is Deanna Stellato's debut as a Canadian um, yeah. pair skater, and she's been very quiet, which makes me think that she's super intense training, probably driving her partner insane. Uh, yeah, because we haven't really heard from her since that last competition, right? We have not really heard from her much. Yeah. Right? She's okay. been, I think she's tunnel vision. They want to be third. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. I think that's a great goal that could maybe happen, yes. right? What do you think about the prospects of that? So, yes. If they do their job, they should be third. If they don't okay. do their job, they will not be third. Right. They did their job in the short at the sectional competition. They have to beat Evelyn and Trent. They have to beat Camille and Drew, which 
love them, but that shouldn't be a challenge. Um, right. <clears throat> let's see, who else is on the pair list? Justine Brashear and Mark uh, Bardet, they did beat them at the last competition because um, Deanna and Maxim were a mess uh, yeah. in the free in the free portion. Um, Natasha Purich and Bryce, that should be no problem. Uh, Nadine and Francis, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Lubav and Dil- uh, Lubav and Charlie will be going mm-hmm. probably uh, favorites for the silver. Right. Uh, Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero, uh, the favorites to win, and Lorianne Mate and Thierry Fairland, don't know, don't care. Um, so <laughs> I had to put that in because if we even mention their names, there are Canadian fans who will start like messaging. Right. Be like, right. I don't even want to have to give you a fake okay, response. Okay, wait, Dave, are you ready for this? I was reading. They just had. And if I'm getting any of the information wrong, I apologize. They just had the Taiwanese elections. Oh, yes. Okay. You, you know how this goes with Canadian peers. And one of the political parties that they were referring to is KMT. Yes. And I was like, what? She's a political force in, in Taiwan, I believe. Yeah. So there okay. you go. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting because they're a week ahead. So I've started to see on Instagram... They're all, they're, they're revving nationals up. revving up. Piper Gillis working out. You know, I think she's leaving on Thursday for nationals. I was, I was like, oh, okay. We are revved up a week early. I see. And I thought you were going to say all the former Canadian competitors started posting their nostalgia posts. That will yeah. happen in a couple days. I am on okay. that always. You know, I, okay. Okay. that, uh, who's the one? Nick LaRoche will post about his junior win championship, take a photo of it every time. All of okay. his friends will congratulate him on his win. I had to unfollow him over it. Like it was too much. Okay. I couldn't fake okay. it anymore. <laughs> So, but, I noticed the same in the Miss America system. Yes. All of the former competitors, the minute that comes around, they mm-hmm. start doing the same kind of thing. It's really interesting. Like, you can have your feelings, keep them private. That's what I said. Yeah. Because people will start to laugh at you that you haven't. Like, or yeah. don't do it every year. You know? Or wish them luck. Like, I remember my time. I'm wishing you luck instead of just the photo. Yeah, well, I mean, but you know that they always wish them luck with the photo of their own former days okay Thanks. you have to make yeah. it look genuine if it right. just looks like it's you celebrating your former self it doesn't look genuine okay right <laughs> it looks like what it is yeah we know that you're raised to be narcissists however it's not your fault but we need to kind of get you into the real world yeah what it looks it's like when gays do a thirst trap on instagram we know what it is well i tow that line <laughs> Listen, you told that line, Jonathan. You're all about the Hermes pillows. Yes. I know, um, I know. That's what you, it is. But then I always get like fun people that are like, hey, I have this idea for a pillow. And, da, 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 da. and it, it like often results in some really fun conversations. We attract a unique crowd, Jonathan. Yeah. yeah we really do. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot to send someone. Someone sent me a message. Oh my God, it was so long about that they think that figure skating is really just an arms race between Russia and the United... I couldn't even... How do I respond to that? Like, I just... I, yeah. Thumbs up emoji. <laughs> I, just, I can't. I can't. It's exhausting. Um, anyway. Do you think... I mean, do you think in any way Charlie and Lubov would ever challenge KMT if there were errors? Well, if that partner is a mess, again, he sure will. They <laughs> sure... Yeah. But Lubov yeah. could be a mess herself. So right. the thing that I've heard about Lubov is that she can do the jumps in practice and then she's the kind that freaks out in competition and could be jumping like she's never jumped before. And remember, she had a lot of trauma with that abusive, alleged abusive former coach in um, right. Russia who sent that other skater to Israel for the eating disorder clinic. And Lubav have talked about her own experiences with that coach. So there's a lot of trauma there. That's fascinating to watch. So yeah, you no, know, I'm into it. Um, Ice Dance is going, well, the Canadians had to withdraw from Ice Dance. So it's, Who did it? What was the reason they cited? He, <clears throat> um, hot Nikolai, had a uh, knee injury. So, so had do, it su- would feasibly take them out of worlds. Then you know, oh, they're done. I think they're done. They haven't said that they're done. Okay, but this does have ramifications because if they don't go to worlds, I would try to send them to worlds if they could. Right, because. You know, we get into the whole issue of will Canada have three spots in ice dance next year, which is not the most important thing on the planet. They do have good ice dance teams. They are revving up. But 
if they don't go, Canada does not have a shot at getting right. uh, three spots. Uh, right. Especially if, if Piper and Paul don't medal, it would be really hard for them to pull it out because the other ones that would maybe be going would be like Marjorie and Zach would be looking at the world championships, right. Caroline and Shane. Um, they have Haley and Nicholas, Estelle and Alex, Molly and Dimitri, Alicia. They, they really don't have very many dance teams, very many uh, pairs. It's a thin field for yeah. um, for Canada. So without Weaver and Poge, there is kind of a lack of depth, especially when you take out the Cana Danes. That is, yeah. I think Piper and Paul are going to win. I just I, by a landslide. I feel yeah. these scores will be almost comical. How how large it always be. is. Yeah, but I mean... Piper and Paul, Canadian figure skating championships. Remember, it's my favorite announcer of the year, Jonathan. Right, that's right. (laughs) Jonathan Byer. Did it. Doing (laughs) the skating lesson from his living room, Harlem, New York. (laughs) And what I love about Evelyn and Trent, so I was going to do a whole separate video on spinning out, but, you know, I came down with the illness. I still may, but what I thought was hysterical was that they had different stunt doubles for when the skaters are doing skating by themselves versus the pair elements. And Kat, the main character, because obviously you're going to finish the series. I know that you're very invested. You seem really invested. Yeah, yeah. No, I will. I will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So they seem (laughs) really invested. And when you see Kat skating by herself, it's... um, it's Putnam. It's a different skater uh, that is doing it. Again, I don't need that girl's backstory. Don't send it to me. We've, we're fine. Um, yeah. Uh, Desiree, watch yourself. I don't care. Um, anyway, <laughs> we have Kat. When she skates by herself, looks like her components are 9-5 level. She is right. the Carolina Costner of the ice. But when they do pair elements, they're real choppy. And their skating skills look like they're gutter rats. Well, that's when they're Evelyn and Trent. I would just say that we could notice a difference based on the stunt doubles. It was... Yeah, right. Just note it. It was a noted thing, okay? Yeah, just, just, a, just an observation. Just an okay. observation, not a damnation. Take what you will. Yeah, yes. okay. All right. Let's talk but about But Deanna, come on, you got this. Deanna, let's go, okay? <laughs> Put it together. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Jonathan, the, the cheerleaders have this chant before they go out. Okay. And I think that Deanna and her partner need to do this. Like, they go like, we can. And the cheerleaders go, we can. And then they go, we will. We will. And then they go, we must. We must. We can. We can. We will. We will. We must. Like, it sounds like some sort of communist brainwashing Yeah, going on. exactly. Yeah. I, know. I loved it. Okay. Inside, I'm like, I might. I probably should. <laughs> Jonathan, we can. Okay, we, we can. Deanna can. She can. She will. She will. She must. And she must. She must. Okay. <laughs> she can. She will. She must. Honey. All right. This is. I like that. I like that. Oh yes. I. I didn't understand the rest of their cheer. It's something about bulldogs and then tastes like chicken. Uh, and then we're in the ring of fire. A lot going on in some of these cheers. I, I didn't understand huh. that. I would when like... You bulldogs on fire, they taste like If anyone like knows the Navarro cheer and why it is the way it is, if you are from Corsicana, Texas, and you would like to explain it to us, please send a DM. That is one that I would think is worthwhile. Who wants the backstory for? Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Yes, got okay. It. Julie um, noted. We have to teach people, Jonathan, okay? Oh, not to... Well... As I'm thinking about the Canadians, do their world, do their world points or whatever the terminology is? Yes, from, I when should... they, from when they were Danish, does that carry over, or do they start a clean slate with now that they're representing Canada? Do you know? That's I didn't a mean great to question that. because they do not split. So usually you get a percentage. When you okay. split with the partner, it's very confusing when you split with partners and switch countries about how the ISU points work, but they technically did not change partners. It's split. the same yeah. partnership and they sat out. I would read that they should have the same ISU points. I would okay. think. Cause I wondered if like them being potentially taken out of worlds. Was Cause like, let's think about this. If you have to sit out for a year, there is no reason to then deduct a percentage because you're already getting docked for the year that you're sitting out because you're not getting new ISU points and it's a look back system of three years. So yeah, there's no reason to then 
harm them twice. And they right? aren't a different team. Yeah, it's just yeah. a different team. Because they did sit out last fall. Okay. So, yes, these are, these are great could... questions. These are I'll real... These are real thought-provoking ones, okay? I'm trying to get this up because there's the latest BS from Gabby Dalman that we have to discuss. Okay. Um, oh, there was the Youth Olympics. I didn't watch. Yuma Kagiyama won. Congratulations. How did Samsonov do? He was second, I think, after the... Samsonov got the bronze. Andre Moselev got the silver. Who, who ended up winning then? They were first and second, I think. Yuma after Kagiyama won the gold. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Pana Falova and Rilov won the pair event. All right, pair events. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we just saw these people compete. They're of all the. I'm not like. I don't know. I can't get into the Youth Olympics. Like not. I'm not interested yeah. at all. At all. Yeah. Young Yu topped the standings in the ladies short program. Okay. Young Yu bit uh, beat uh, Senya Sinitsina. Did she do her triple axel? No falls on Young Yu's thing. So maybe. Anna Frolova second in the short. Mana Kawabe was fourth. Georgian was fifth. Um, and, um, oh, Audrey Shin seventh. Mm. Okay. And Emily Zhang just competed in Turin in Poland with the girl uh, Isadora uh, from my rink. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil, she missed the qualifying by like a hair in both the short and the long. But I'll just say one thing. I was skating. They only had certain freestyle sessions on New Year's Day. I was skating that morning. Isadora was not. Had yeah. a competition this week. Didn't make it, but that much. Just saying, Jonathan. I, I, and that's what makes the difference in those moments. If yeah, she spun I could... a little bit faster or didn't pop that loop or didn't get a level two step sequence when her coaches are ice dancers, she would have made it. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. I felt the same thing even when I saw her live at Four Continents was that nine, 2019? Yeah. yeah. Um, in LA, <clears throat> it was right there. It just seemed like she's great. Maybe a, lack, maybe a lack of training or a lack yeah. of discipline or something. Maybe, well, maybe I think she made the Olympics and she's a girl of a certain age. And you know, what is the goal at that point? If you're just going right. to keep going, like, what are you, what are you striving for? She's no danger of being a medalist. So right. I think that it's kind of just a sad way to probably end your career in that way right. when you're, going out and then you know right. that if you worked just a little bit harder you would have would have done it so yeah or at least have an illness ahead of time like gabby dalman she's very dramatic gabby right like <laughs> always has been <laughs> jonathan how often do you come down with pneumonia just ballpark figure I, I don't think i ever have so Gabby claimed that she had pneumonia in 2018, and there were many people who, in Canada who felt that she didn't. And you know, Can Canadians pretend to be very nice, but they will message you on the do on download that they don't believe her. Yeah. Well, yeah. she now claims that she has pneumonia again, but she's already on the road to recovery. Now, when you're diagnosed with an illness, <laughs> do you usually say, I'm already recovering? When you come down with pneumonia, Jonathan, when I'm sick, it's not pretty. It's not attractive. It's not featured on Instagram. We aren't taking right. selfies. There's nothing that bothers me more when the people are like, oh, I'm so sick. They've got like full hair and makeup in bed taking that shot. In a hospital bed. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know about this. I'm snotting. I'm sweating out the fever. I'm trying to. I'm in a cocoon. Like there's nothing attractive happening. But, oh. So that's health. Now, if you were trying to lower the bar of expectations and already start to like make all those excuses, now is exactly the time to begin doing that. I mean, so there was buzz that she was not skating well last week anyway. Now, I think she claimed that she was sick on the 21st, but then there were people that were posting videos of her from the TikTok or whatever it was mm -hmm. that she was seemed fine. So lots of just like her... There's Results. She struggles. Um, she struggles. She struggles. But yeah. here's the thing with Canada. The mind controls the body. They keep saying, well, she's the only thing we have. How well do you think she's really going to pull off at the end of the year if you have a season of these problems? At what point do you cut the cord and be like, maybe we need to invest in our other talent and focus on them? Because I have to say, but Jonathan, I, I don't think I this don't, is going to get any be better. Rude. I don't mean to be rude, but what a, who else would you invest in? Anyone. Yeah. Someone I, that you know maybe has limited potential, but can at least get you through. Look, there's talent. There's a lot. But we have three years of four years of information. And I would say 
that steadily declines. St- just steadily, like, yeah. please. And now the people are so addicted to anything that Gabby does and following it, and they're not naive to any of this anymore that I, it's like, an, I think it's an addiction on, in many ways, the, to the, the attention and everything going on in that the sort victimology of... victimology. Oh, the, yeah. I don't it's think... It's manic. It, it's manic, yeah. It's not going to get any better until there's a real... Shift. Shift and time away and things like that. So I, uh, we always hear like, oh, she was in treatment. Yeah, for like three weeks. And then you go back to the same thing that was the problem before. So what is going to really change, right? If right. you just start repeating the same things again and again. Uh, yeah, th- I don't see this situation help. It will be interesting to see how she skates. I'm fascinated by that. Not for the right reasons, but I do right. have like a morbid curiosity. Because again... Very, a talented, she has that natural spring thing. It's I'm, very, I mean, even in her scariest moments, she still has a tremendous raw talent that you cannot deny. But I it's mean, just. You drive, if you drive, if you see a car wreck on the side of the road, you do in, instinctively look, right? Like there's, right, you, you right. look at what's happening. Especially when it was a really nice car at one point. Nice car at one <laughs> Um, you know, decent car at one. Overrated, but a decent. decent. A fair, fair enough. Yeah, that was an interesting got some, competition. Got some in car awards in a week year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. That was a. Uh, remember, um, what was it? Our girl Pogorilaya was also like hurting herself on the ice and flailing. There was a lot happening. Okay. Also a former world bronze medalist. So yeah. you know that world bronze medalist position can be a very interesting one. Who, um, the Finnish girl in 2011? There's always one that's just gonna sneak in there. Karen Chen was also fourth in that week year. I mean, again. Yeah. Perspective. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, otherwise, Canada has a bunch of names that we haven't really... Well, we saw... Um... Well, we saw Michelle Long on um, on Spinning Out. She did some very beautiful mm-hmm. skating there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think... We... Who did we see at uh, Skate America? Who has... It's been interesting to watch her come back a little bit. Veronique. Um... Veronique Mallet. Yeah, yes. because for a while she wasn't jumping anything beyond a loop and then like the flip looked like it was pretty solid for her at skate america like mm-hmm. she she may be she may run away with it jonathan she was 10th at skate america i just had to just rewind because and look this up because i don't remember her performance at all i was there i, I remember because i was thinking with gabby being such a question mark I, I was like, that could be our, that could be our, that could be the Canadian champion this season. I obviously was there at Skate America. She and I was taking notes. She didn't go into the long term memory at all. She's a cute. She's she has a very cute presence on the ice. Cute I presence, think, yes. And she's got a fun ponytail. She seems like a great girl. She enjoys skating. I mean, again, there's maybe technical limitations. Could she there. make the final group at Worlds? Tough. May, maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Wait, did you say could she make the final group at Worlds? I, I'm sorry, could make the free skate is what I meant. Yeah, I, yeah, she should just squeeze in, you know, because again, I, isn't it still an issue with Larkin and even her qualifying points? I mean, Larkin, I would, we miss Larkin. I always loved Larkin. <laughs> It's Larkin in the show. Remember, I always said that I would cast Larkin in my ice show. If I were going to cast an ice show, I think Larson would be a great chorus girl. I would have her in there. Yeah. If we were doing the ice capades, she'd be an ice capet, okay? Larkin, for the win, <laughs> had qualities that I appreciated. So, And on the jumps that she did do, the easy nice. ones, the, the air position was really cool looking. So. Liked Larkin. I was a fan, okay? So yes. We heard from um, Ms. Chartrand. Well, Miss Chartrand is not competing this year, so... Not at all. Not at all. So, yeah, we've got um, Aurora. I think she's had some injuries. Uh, So, yeah, we'll have to see. It's it's a sparse field in Canada, but I think it could be the most entertaining Canadian Nationals ever. You know, the Canadian Nationals are not known for their proficiency. Uh, Historically, they've had a a few uh, standouts, like... um, uh, Jennifer Robinson and um, Mir Leung and Nicole Watts, um, Karen Preston, Jose Chouinard. Yes. <laughs> we, Tracy Wayneman. Look, 
Mm -hmm. Gabby Dalman is in a long line of very fascinating Canadian women who we are. But none of these women had the uh, bronze medal at the world. So she's at oh least Oh my got God, get over this bronze medal. Okay, like. Well, Karen couldn't even pull that bronze. <laughs> Karen effing Chen had to like mess up that double axle. Okay, like. Exactly, exactly. Oh um, but I, I don't know. I think it could be Veronique's this year. I'll be all right with it. She dresses well. At long last, Dave, your prayers have been answered. Veronique takes it away. <laughs> oh my God, I love Canadian skating so much. I, and of course, we have this ongoing rivalry between Keegan Messing and Nam Nguyen. And really, is this is when we should be getting the good Keegan fluff piece because he lost his brother this year and he is competing yeah. and he is trying to find the motivation and everything to continue. But really, in the in the moment on the Grand Prix, because we saw him at Skate America, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remarkable what yes. he was able to do in that. I can't, I yeah. hope no one has to know what that's like, but to be able to pull out those kinds of performances in that time period. And, like, I, and I, I'm under the uh, impression, understanding that it, you know, really hit him like then, but really after as well. So, you know, the, if you saw, yeah, it, you're almost still in shock and maybe a little bit numb at the time. I, yeah. I would imagine this is going to be hard. So, but we just saw Nam quasi recently, actually at the same competition that Deanna was at yeah. and kind of uh, skittish still. So I think it's very much an unknown. It's, Nam has certainly improved, but it's more the same. I am curious is how many of these ne'er-do-wells from the cricket club are going to do well? And at what point are they going to realize that they are not, that um, bigger star skaters, um, I don't want to call them more important, but there are other skaters who are, just soaking up all of the oxygen in the rink. And uh, Conrad Orzel, Joseph Van, they seem to be middling, right? We have so yeah. many, there are talented male skaters that are, that seem to have more going for them, maybe than Keegan and Nam do, that should be better. Is it Conrad that pulled out the really surprising, not surprising, but sort of um, that long program on the Grand Prix? Was it him? It wasn't Joseph Van, uh, uh, because, Joseph was struggling on the yeah, Grand Prix for sure. So many messages. Someone I mean, Conrad was 11th and 12th. So, uh, oh maybe? no, then that's not who I'm thinking of. No, oh. it was Roman Sadowski. Oh my gosh, the gorgeous yes. skater. Yes. Yeah, Sorry, I, I was like, I was thinking Conrad, and I was like, I don't think Conrad. because Conrad should be. Conrad is the one that does the modeling, who should be very confident in himself, yeah. but isn't. So Conrad reminds me a smidge of our situation with Camden and um, the other one, not Torgashev, but um... yeah, Torgashev. Yeah, but who's the other, the Slavic last Krasnosha? name? Krasnosha. Oh, no, I am thinking of Torgashev. Yeah. Uh, Gosh, yeah. Focus, Jonathan, have another coffee. Um, but that's that's what I feel about Conrad. Like, it's it's kind of there, but <laughs> he's yet to kind of surge forward. But to see Roman again. I, I mean, really like jo Joseph Fan too. I think he has a lot. He has a je ne sais quoi to him that I... He does, but he was one that started to be a difficult watch on the Grand Prix because he was so all over the place. Well, he had an, a bad injury over the summer. Remember, he was only practicing triple loops at one point. <laughs> Uh, right. so, um, I don't, and what was, did he was on the junior Grand Prix, Joseph Ann. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Um, Gogolev is out of the competition and, oh, this was another, um, conversation I had with fans this week. Someone was asking me how he, it started the conversation. I got nervous. I got okay. freaking nervous when you get a fan that's asking you questions where you, you know, I, you have to be, when we don't know the person, you have to be very positive and, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. And he was asking, you know, how can Gogolev not be competing if he's also skating on Instagram? And this is because he was injured following the Junior Grand Prix and was off the ice for a long time and is only getting back to the ice now. So, of course, we only really saw him in photos with Shaylin, I think, who right. was visiting um, Raphael. So... He had injuries, was out. Now he is trying to come back. And of course he is going to be their number one pick for the Junior Worlds, even though he is right. not there. And they were like, but he's not competing. I was like, I even said to Who the cares? person, yeah. I said, I'm, I'm, I was afraid you were going to try to ask me, why is he going to Junior Worlds if he didn't go to Nationals? And the person said, yeah. actually, that was my next question. And I was like, um, he's so Russian he and talented. He could get citizenship for any country in two right. seconds if he uh, 
if is he in one eighteenth Jewish? Because he could be Israeli, he could right. be Azerbaijani, he could be Belarusian, he could be uh, yeah. whatever. Pick a former Soviet republic, and he could get to the world championship so quick. Canada is going to keep him around and cater to him as they always yeah. do with their top and it, man. And it is an important. That's an investment, and there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with investing in the right investment. Yeah. yeah. So was having to explain, you know, the sky is blue, Gogolev has more potential than some of your other boys, yada right. yada. Okay. Yeah. Gabby Dalman is a mess. You know, the whole... The, these right. Are things that we have to teach <laughs> Let me tell you how it is. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it'll be sad not to see him there. Yeah. We did see Eric Radford doing his solo performance, doing some very sexy edges in um, Germany. There's more speculation that, of course, Aliona keeps saying that she wants to continue, but Bruno is not technically on board just yet. But mm. I think it would be smart for them to come back. I, I think that there's not really there's an opening. I they would. I think that they would certainly be medalists. Um, yeah, with a chance to win. But look, they the way the Russians have rigged the points in the. Uh, Pair field. No one has worked on the hard. Yeah, elements. it favors her in that situation. Totally. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Lekernik, our great mathematician, is um, he would be helping Aliona. I think. I think Swihan could lose that gold medal again if uh, Aliona came back, like for sure. But again, I think for sure they would be on the podium. Oh yeah, um, and also Bruno, like. Who are you to hold this up? You are just the prop. Like we, honestly, right. I know that you're attractive. Although even as even as the prop, he got everything he wanted. I mean, he did, but I mean, he seems really. But really... it answers that question for Aliona: What's enough? And the answer is nothing. Nothing, nothing is enough. She just wants to always. She loves be going. skating. She looks better than ever. I think she's yeah. going to arena Rodnina this coming back for the gold, and I think she should. You know what? Yeah. We need more hits and more storylines of the skating lesson. Let's go, girl. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Get it back into competition. Was, I, I thought our interview with her, she was beyond delightful as a human being also. Yes. Like, she's really got it together. It's quite admirable. Listen, she didn't coach me. I'm fine. Okay? I'm like, <laughs> would love That's it if she did. Yeah. Ugh, I worked with Kristen Frazier on my brackets yesterday, Jonathan. And you, you dragged Michael Shanley, I saw. Well, he dragged, no. I went to the rink for my lesson on um, the 10 o'clock session. And we were working on my brackets. And Kristen is really good with the body. She's real scary, Jonathan. Okay, Remember, okay. And for you to say that, yeah. <laughs> oh, we match intensity levels. Okay. But I got a couple of like, yes, from her. And I was like, oh, I think the Ice Queen is cracking. I think I'm winning her over. Yeah, okay, okay. I know that they totally want, like, all me to, because I'm a, an adult that can pay for all the lessons. So that's, right. of course, very right. important. Oh, my God. This, a fan, again, calling me probably about some unimportant <laughs> youth Olympics that I don't care about. Okay, Alan <laughs> Giuliano, I don't give a shit. All right. That's nice. All right. I'm not watching it. Remember I said I'm not watching Ted yeah. for 12 hours on the Junior Grand Prix. I'll go to the individual video. I just do not right. have enough time. Okay. Exactly. If someone exactly. crashes in a warm up. I'll go watch that, though. I'll tell you. Yeah, okay. exactly. A highlight reel. <laughs> so, oh my God, Alan, you are so rude. Okay. <laughs> we don't care. Like, he messaged me yesterday. I was coming from the rink. Are you watching the Lady Short of the Youth Olympics? No. Like, <laughs> we all have, we, you know, we all have our limit. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, I'm watching Cheer for the fourth time, okay? I have priorities. <laughs> priorities, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Okay, what, you've never seen Young You do a short before that had no musicality and, like, a triple axel on a straight yeah. edge? I mean, come and on. Cool. We just watched it last week, Young exactly. You. Like, what's she doing? She's just grabbing points wherever she can get them. It's in Lausanne. It looks real nice, okay? Yeah. Like, no! Yeah. This is like Canadian oh. lady status, okay? Oh yeah. my God, can't wait for U.S. Nationals. Anyway, Kristen Frazier, real scary bee, love her, okay? Like, she will tell you where to put it. Her parents bought her Igor from Russia, wound up being a romance. It's all good, okay? But Magic he, is happening. He was gone in Poland, of course, so he didn't teach our edge class yesterday. But I did outfit Michael Jackson Mystique, um boots that he got oh i got him a uniqlo jacket he has these fitted um 
sweatpants so that he could show off his lines because he doesn't want to wear tights, he told me. So I'm okay. like, all right, I wear my tights to the rink. I don't care, okay? Yeah. I'll wear my They're tights. They're leggings, Dave. They're leggings. All right. I'll wear them getting coffee. We had a real debate about that, so. Okay. Okay. Debates for the week. Is it okay if I wear my leggings out in public? I say yes. Who is going to tell me that I can't? Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> you just need to wear it with this uh, skating turtleneck and then you'll be ready to go while my, you're doing a thing. My ass and my legs look great. Okay. No one is going to tell me. If... <laughs> Please. And no one will tell me otherwise. Okay. All right. <laughs> First, if I want to go drop off my laundry and pick up coffee, for Michael Shanley, I should be able to wear my tights, okay? My leggings, whatever you want to call them, all right? Mm -hmm. You just need to wear your Ugg boots over them. So I was listening to, after I, listen, after I watched Don't F With Cats, I was listening to The Real Crime Profile, and they were talking about how people care more about animal abuse than they do about human abuse. Like, seeing an animal get mutilated upsets humans more. For whatever about the defenselessness or whatever it is, that upsets people the most. Yeah. Well, there was a whole South Park episode about PETA. And, and the, the line at the end was like, well, PETA doesn't care about people. It's true. Only animals. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I have a question for you, Jonathan. Tell so me. you know how it's, you know, how people get very self-righteous about if you get a dog from a breeder like Meryl Davis versus if you get a dog from... Um, the know, pound, or, pound. Yeah. Jonathan, there are a lot of dogs that need good homes, okay? Yeah. I know that you and Ludwig probably want, like, one of those fancy, uh, hypoallergenic... Uh, no, but I'll tell you what, growing up, we always got... My mom called them used dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but often, like, those mixed breeds are often smarter, they're often... Oh. You know what I mean? My sister has Brutus from the pound, and she has Gia, who just licks everyone. I don't know which one is smarter yet. I don't know. Okay. Brutus okay. is my favorite. He was from a breeder, though. I, just listen, okay? I'm just saying, all right? Okay, okay. Well, what about, you know, now that all of the rich gays from Instagram, you know, that you know are, are trying to adopt and have children, you know, because we allow marriage. Not me, not me. All right, well, Jonathan, would you, will people become as self-righteous about adopting as surrogacy? Can't, you know, the same thing as going, like, to a breeder. Well, I've wondered it. You know, Jonathan, I, I mean, there I are a lot of kids that need that. a good home. There are a lot it's, of kids. It's very true. I think they should. I but think. although I have to say the adoption process in the United States can be very difficult. Very difficult. They make, they make these, it very difficult. They make these Warren supporter gays jump through hoops. They have to make like 250 page documents. I mean, come mm -hmm. on, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's very tricky because my brother was adopted from Romania, as you know. Yes. And um, my parents first went through American channels and it was a nightmare. Yes. And then when they revealed all of these um, orphanages under that former communist rule there, they were, everyone went there to try to And then sometimes help. you match and you know because they're gay, like, and who really, who is the knocked up 14 year old girl from Missouri <laughs> or Mississippi to say that like, well, I don't want the kid going to a gay home. Like, who are you, honey? You're the knocked up Yeah, 14 exactly, exactly. All right. I'm going to spoil that kid Broughton and give him everything. Yeah. Exactly. He's going to be taking music lessons, maybe in the opera with Jonathan Byer, going to Lincoln Center. Or maybe okay. that kid is going to be Alyssa Liu, champion of the United States figure skating in 2019. Exactly. You know? Okay. Yeah. But I think people, when they go to a surrogate, I think that people will be like, well, you know, there are a lot of kids in foster care who need a good home. All right. Mm. I think people should just get as self righteous as always. You know, I love superiority Love that. yeah exactly <laughs> i have neither children nor animals so i'm fine okay okay yeah exactly i'm enough <laughs> i'm taking skating lessons i can't afford yeah. anything else okay exactly. mommy exactly. has to go to the rink okay you're outfitting michael shanley it's not cheap yeah listen he skated in his group class and you know i'm a tiger parent about it so i'm like make sure that you compliment the teacher make sure that you put in a lot of effort smile and make sure that the attention is on you okay and did he uh, yes he's working on those swizzles so the crossover okay. two foot spin we skated okay. on the public session afterwards and we left to get food because we hadn't eaten and he was like oh, i would have stayed another session and i was like oh bitten by the bug monster. okay yeah exactly oh and he actually didn't even get his skates sharpened yet, but insisted on using his new skates because I ordered them from Amazon because I think he's such a germaphobe that he's so grossed out by using like 
rental I skates that other yeah. people it's, use. And the rental skate, I mean, I'm sure where you're going, they're fine, but I've had varying success when you rent them. So anyway, just more fun, you know? So, yeah. It's okay. Fabulous. Yeah, and we were actually, we were taking from an Australian named Robbie, not a Dodds brother, an Australian okay. skater who worked with Kudryatsev and with um, Raphael. So we were in a group, he subbed in the group class. We were doing some Raphael swizzle drills going on. Oh, interesting. interesting. Okay. Felt very Raphael. It was great. Okay. You know, okay. I could like hear him. He was like... Fixing your education. <laughs> Fixing my education. And the guy was like, you know Raphael? Fun guy. I want to be like, oh, yes. Yes, I do know Raphael. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Raphael, the first word I think of when I think of him is fun. <laughs> fun guy. <laughs> oh, y- y- yes. Okay. Yeah, a real hoot. Yeah. Real hoot. All right. Anyway, I know I haven't looked up Robbie's backstory yet, but that's, that's to come. Okay. That's down the line. Yeah, okay. Down the line. All right. But, so I stand in Greensboro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Christina Carrera, Anthony Potomarenko, Madison Chalk, Evan Bates, Caroline Green, and Michael Parsons. I like that. Hawaiian and Baker, <laughs> Hubble and Donahue, mm-hmm. McNamara and Carpenter. These are really the top six. Then we have three others who are, mm, you know, Bailey and Ryan O'Donnell, Eva Pate and Logan By, Livy Schilling and Alexander Petrov. We're not as invested in them. This for the top six. Yeah, um, because even first, I think, yes, there's there's clear like what's going to go one, two. Mm-hmm. I have my feelings, but it's what's going to go three, four. I think they're in clumps, right? Yeah. We're fighting for one, two. We're fighting for three, four. We're fighting for five, six. I think three, six could even be. Really? Real okay. Well, Hawaii can make her have been such a mess this year. And I feel like it will be easy to see them move down. But and I don't know if this is the year to do it, or is this mm-hmm. the year to send them a real message? Because... But I don't know that... What message could be delivered that makes a difference for them? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, at some point, we have to accept the limitation, and they have... Within their oh, I think you put them like I think you put them fourth in either the rhythm dance or the free dance. Like you send that subtle message where they are like it's fourth, coming. It's coming. Okay, okay, but yeah. arguably it may be here because Kareen and Parsons, a lot of potential, but they're still very new. So to put them ahead 100%. at this point, a little bit premature. Yeah, Carrera and Panamarenko improving. Still kind of, I would say, stale material. How many people are too darn hot this year? Theirs is right. not as. Fabulous is Madison Chalks, so... No one's is. Yeah. And then in the free dance, do they go for Chalk and Bates over Hubble and Donahue? I, I don't see how they can't. They have to. I think they have to. In my to. opinion. Assuming, assuming both, both teams are, are performing well. But in general, this is what was interesting about ice dances. Although Hubble and Donahue like, test that sometimes, it's whatever you you have like material wise is really what's deciding this because most of them are delivering consistent products. You know what I mean? And Hubble and Donahue, it's both programs that suck. It's both yeah. programs and- But I think the technical elements for them in the free dance or the uh, rhythm dance are probably strong enough that despite the material, they should be okay. I know, but do you want it going back and forth between Smash and then Marilyn and- Hubble being Marilyn, it's a lot. Daddy, I don't want uh, it's like, uh, that's a tough one for me. Yeah, and remember, but I, think, I think the technical points will work out. That though Hubble and Donahue's parents sure won't remember this. We were very supportive of them when they had good material, um, yeah. and yeah. it just seems that this is going in a bad way and a stubborn way because this right. program, again, when we first saw it, miss. And we haven't seen the changes. Now they right. make they've made a lot of changes to elements, but the elements aren't the real problem for me with them. It's yeah, it's the overall takeaway. It's what if you're sitting in the audience, which to me, ice dance is a big part of when, mm-hmm. when we're talking about those PCS. What am I supposed to feel, mm-hmm. or what what would you like me to feel? Because I leave the free dance for them. Like I, I kind of had to work hard as an audience member yeah. like to, to kind of get what vibe. When they did something like Hallelujah, you knew 
-hmm. you just felt something afterwards or that sexy jazz program from the Olympics, you you know, you knew the vibe you were going for. And this one is just kind of a more generic message, I guess. Whereas again, the chalk and baits free dance, it's, it has exoticism in it. It has unique pictures. It it's fanciful. It's all these things and you get it right away. Not because it's, not because it's lowbrow or too easy to get, but because I really feel they honed on what they want the takeaway to be. Yeah. And yeah. I see it winning. I see it winning. I see them being second in the rhythm dance and I see them winning overall because of the free dance. I would put them first in both. I just, okay. I look, I feel like Hubble and Donahue were kind of protected last year and it's been two years of bad material and stubbornness of more of the same kind of attitudes. And skating, that's forever, right? We yeah. are just exhausted yeah. by this at this point. Where? Yeah. I just think the power in their patterns, it's pretty hard to deny. The they have the down. power. But at the yeah. same point, Evan Bates is a beautiful skater. Mm-hmm. And, and their material is great. Their, their rhythm dance is very strong. Yeah. So it may not even be a very large victory for Hubble and Donahue, but mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah. Because who else, who else do you see really challenging the strongest for the third position if they decide to sort of dump Hawaii and Baker, which I think is a possibility. I think Carrera and Panamarenko, maybe? I think so. Yeah. 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 I think McNamara and Carpenter for sixth, but that's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, or although I'm confused a little bit at when the judges don't reward Green and Parsons a smidge. Now, on the international scene, it could be because they were so new and they're still growing. Um, so I was afraid they might put them sixth, but I would hope that they're encouraged a bit. You know, there's that age gap thing that's not my favorite, but um, I think their their free dance has kind of a thing going on. Yeah. So I see yeah, potential. Be, so yeah, it'll be fun to watch. As far as the pairs go, and remember, um, I would just uh, a note um, that there. This is remember they have the technical minimums that people didn't achieve this year, so that's been very controversial. Like Megan Wassenberg didn't get. Uh, the technical minimum when she was on the Grand Prix uh, in previous years. So let's talk uh, pairs. It is kind of an interesting showdown of a, a number of groups. You have Ashley Kane and Tim LaDuke, who are defending champions. They had a rough uh, Grand Prix season, but I imagine that they will be prepared for nationals, right? Yeah. Well, and they had a kind of rough that wasn't a total implosion, mm-hmm. but they there was a door that they could have walked through and they did not. Weak field at Skate America. They could have done it. They could have done it. Um, so tricky, but I, I do, I agree with you. I think they probably made this 100% a goal, mm-hmm. unless that defending champion thing happens. It could be. And, you know, and she's an interesting about it. pageant queen. Ashley is definitely enjoying her position in skating. It could be a tough thing but maybe they've already gotten the defending jitters out earlier in the season because so. i think also several times they've had to prove it against mm-hmm. teams like you know haven and brandon and mm-hmm. and other ones and faltered so yeah maybe they maybe they worked it out yeah because if you're gonna have to deal with that and come back from it you have to address it at some point it doesn't mean that it has to keep happening like you can have your freak out lose the 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 worst has happened and you move the f up and you climb right. again and right. that could happen uh, for them i still think that their throws have the deep in the knee landing there's certainly a door open uh for teams mm-hmm. if they um want to skate better but yeah we'll have to see uh, jessica Callang and brian johnson i think we've seen some more promise from them this season but they haven't fully put the whole package together. No, yet. they've kind of consistently moved the bar up a smidge. You know what I mean? It seems like a kind of slow and steady improvement. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see for them too. Because again, they I think they had a bit of a stronger showing on the Grand Prix than I anticipated mm-hmm. for them. So. Emily Chan and Spencer Howe, we've seen them kind of climbing a little. Uh, um, you know, Haven and Brandon, They, I feel like they showed us what they can do on the Grand Prix. They're not going to add much more. We haven't seen her rotate a double axle. They haven't added a second triple. If they do enough with the two medals that they did win on the Grand Prix, then they didn't go to Zagreb. And they kind of just held steady. Will they give it to them? They're going with John Zimmerman. That's controversial this season. I'm sure Christine Brennan will be at the pair event watching all of that. Um, mm-hmm. That is... 
And do they have enough tactical ammo? Remember, they have struggled at the World Championships, uh, making it... Yeah, to make the free, yeah. yeah. I mean, the material is is their better material. Mm -hmm. And she kind of reawoke, even though, again, they were very... In another team's execution, they would have been very questionable jumps. Mm -hmm. But for her, they were like monumental victories on the Grand Prix, those kinds of eked out jumps. Mm -hmm. So was that all she needed? If she just ekes them out enough compared to other people's implosions, because their lifts are great. Um, I, I, they probably have the, outside of Alexa and Chris, they, I would think they have the best lifts in the competition. Yeah. Um, so And they can get huge points, especially, we've got some American teams that like to put them down. Yeah, well... Yeah. So uh, we'll see. Nika and Danny, I feel like we haven't seen them uh, really step up in the, this season. Uh, some injuries and the like, but uh, right. I think Nationals is certainly an opportunity for them to kind of write that ship. Tara and Danny, I don't know what to expect. We saw that Tara was at Amanda's wedding, so Jim Peterson thinks, of course, they're going to win. Um, right. Remember, Tara is his favorite forever and ever. I don't know what to expect from Tara and Danny here. They didn't win in Zagreb. Um, they usually can pull out a Nationals moment, but... Well, not last year. I mean, understandably, like, things were very difficult, but things things are pretty difficult. They really... They continue to sink. Um, and so unless something has changed, I don't know what can pivot for them. I think they need a pivot um, in intention and stuff like that, and I don't... I don't know that that's happened. I think and the material other... is very mediocre. For them coming from, you know, the Swan Lake or some of those other programs they've had in the past, I, I think it's... I don't give... Doesn't a, seem promising. ...a rusty hoot about their Les Miserables this season. Sure so, don't. Sure don't. I think it's a Several tough... days late and several dollars short. I mean... Yeah. I just... I don't think it was the right choice. Um, it doesn't elevate them. I don't know. Alexa, and, the, and the elements are struggling. Now, the Kinerums. I think this is a very important Nationals for the Kinerums. And to the point where I'm almost like nervous for them. Um, because I kind of think they need to make world. I feel, kind of feel like if they don't make worlds, we may not see them continue further. Or, right? Like, they are clearly, they, we saw them beginning of the season. They were set, dead set, reclimbing um, their position. And then they had some struggles, some injuries. I mean, Japan was very scary. And it's just a question of, and does that now inspire or does that detract? And do you, I mean, we heard that they pulled out of Zagreb with a minor injury, but I, it also seemed like maybe they were riding the ship, which there's no shame in doing, of course, of in the course moment. Not, yeah, because why go, you're not going to get mm -hmm. more quality from quantity at that point. I don't know that they need more time on the ice in competition necessarily like at Zagreb it never helps you with the U.S. judges to go and fail it just doesn't right. it, they, they right. remember every slide so except for when they don't want to but I think that they are um those U.S. judges because it, it's one of the most fascinating thing. everyone knows mm -hmm. that this is the team with the most talent with sort of the most ideal pairing and overall look mm -hmm. but um I don't they're going to have to find the right motivation. I think they can do it, but yeah. I don't. And I think that if they skate well, they'll get the marks, right? Yeah. But they have to do it. And right. are they still agile enough, healthy enough, fresh enough? I think it was probably the right choice not to go to Zagreb and to take that time to really, if they had any injuries and they had anything that needed to get before they the rush the Nationals. Yeah. yeah. Totally. And it seems totally. like they've done some warm up shows, perhaps. So. I'm very curious to see what kind of a performance we'll see, how ready they are. I, do you think it's even ready? Or it's like a mental game. No, like I'm curious what kind of sports psychologist or performance psychologist they've used, have been used, have not been using. Yeah. I, I think the answer lies more in that than maybe some people think. I'm fascinated by all of it. I yeah. think that they still have the potential. Look, if we were doing a docu, docu series for, um, for Netflix, they'd be one that I would follow. Okay, there is just some mm -hmm. intangible, fascinating element to them. Really, to mm -hmm. all of these pairs, but to them yeah. especially, I would follow that. Uh, yeah. Uh, it seems like they've taken more of an ownership over the last two years to their skating, and I okay. To be clear, I would love to see them do well. Mm -hmm. I would love to see Danny do well because I think he's just so amazing. I think this will be 
Haven and Brandon and um, Ashley and Tim. I think it's, to me, I, I think it's going to be hard for Alexa and Chris. I don't well, want it to be, but I, I could, I, I sort of am anticipating a struggle. So Alexa and Chris, if we look back, the things that they were struggling with, it seemed like perhaps their throws were go- getting too much height this year on the Grand Prix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm not used to her two-footing as much. Even if it's a two-foot, who cares, right? But it's the right. falling, it's, right? Um, right. But to me, I think you have to kind of divide your elements as a pair team, right? They have the lifts, they have the twist, right? But they've been putting down a lot of lifts. They have the lifts, they have the twist. If they do them, boom, right? Yeah. Problems, jump, side-by-side jumps. That's going to be a problem until the day they die. Yeah. Focus on the throws, okay? Yeah. Focus on yeah. throws and just getting through the jumps. Pick pick one of the jumps that you feel really confident in. Land that one. Eh, mistake on the other one. Don't freak yourselves out. If you can do the throws, you can do one of the two jumps. It doesn't it have to be perfect. It does yeah. not have to be perfect. That's what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, you kind of, like, look Focus at your Focus on your death spiral. Yes, Focus on your death spiral is actually quite good. And it gets a lot of yeah. points. So, um, yeah, actually. So, I think that they can do it. Um, whereas other teams, Tara and Danny... What is their highlight element? I don't. I don't know. I think they're being all around skaters is kind of his their... edges. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ashley and Tim. Uh, what they're all keeping it our... together the most. Is, yeah, I, and I, I would say. So and for, then for for um, even, even and Brandon, the program, I think it's it's the, the material and yeah. the lifts. So yeah. I think uh, for Alexa and Chris, it's mentally how they approach the last several weeks going in, what the game plan is, how the mental game is going that will really uh, determine mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. for and for most of these skaters but especially for them after the season they've had I think that we'll really see there um, also Olivia and Mervin how are they going to uh, move ahead at this point are they going to climb and deliver here uh, Audrey Liu and Misha Mitrofanov also always an interesting watch yeah. that team now I don't know I don't know that there'll be factors necessarily um, but um, an interesting team always now let's look at the lady. All right, Jonathan, we are back. We had I'm to mostly t- prepare for the women. <laughs> I know everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, I wanted to see what they just did during the edit there. What did they say? Did they have to edit something out? Oh my god, what they said? They seem shady. What happened? Did they say something shady? Oh my god, who they shade about? Oh my god, were you talking about Karen Chen? Were you talking about Mariah? No. You know what happened? Jonathan had to pee. Okay. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. Hydration is key, y'all. <laughs> oh we get messages about this. Okay. Can mm-hmm. you please? And they'll be like, some of the gays will be like, can you please post? A, please post it. You know, unedited. We want to know what did he say. Said nothing. I said, okay. excuse me, Dave. I have to pee. <laughs> oh my God. And then allegedly, no, kidding. Oh, yeah, exactly. But while I was peeing, what Dave said, no. <laughs> All right. So, Star Andrews, she was on a session with my friend in Palm Springs the other day because you know she's skating to Salome. Right. We do know. And Palm Springs, Frank Carroll coaches. So, Frank was watching her. And, you know, this skater is very smart, but she is, like, one of those social justice warriors. She's very, very Jewish. Like, friends with her rabbi Jewish. You know, very oh, offended. Oh, I thought you were talking about Star. And I was <laughs> oh, like, yes. I don't, I don't think that's right. Dave. Star, <laughs> a real Sammy Davis Jr. No. Yeah. <laughs> she has a glass eye? No, I'm just, okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this <clears throat> skater, beautiful skater. You know, she thinks maybe it's Jason doing hunger pangs during his Schindler's List. Is that too offended? And I'm like... That, that. You know, uh, I can't. Okay, anyway, um, let's... <clears throat> so he was saying that Star Andrews needs to work on her face, and he was showing her Michelle and the beautiful face she had during Salome. And she's like, really? Frank Carroll needs to focus on the face? And I'm like, um, yeah, he does. Because you know what? Yeah. She looks bored, okay? Yeah. Not engaged at all, okay? We need... It's Salome. I want her in big makeup. I want her having pains i want her selling it the whole exotic and she's desperate Salome Mm -hmm. is desperate in that moment yeah yes yeah all on the line give it remember that move that michelle did yeah Yeah. i just remember the the end. that's not the key move the key move is out of the ina bauer to the lunge yeah yeah Yeah. there were some i mean that was a moment ugh if she didn't pay Lori Nichol 10 grand for that program, she should have, okay? I Retroactively, just, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Okay. It may be the program that defined Lori's fee. She did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she earned every cent with that. She did. Okay. She did. It was remarkable. So why you would want to emulate it when perhaps you're not in a position to do so is a confusing one. But but apparently Star was nailing that triple triple the other day on the practice. So um... the triple toe, triple toe. Yes. Well, you know what? Hope for Star because there's no one competing at these nationals that is any good. OK, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Maxime Marine, Maxime Marine Bautista, uh, Mariah Bell. I am curious. She didn't. She had her success, like Haven and Brandon. Chose not to be the queen of Zagreb this year. Fine, fair enough. Knowing that Nathan would be going to the Grand Prix final, obviously, maybe she didn't want to go with the assistant coach. I don't know uh, if she didn't want to go with Nadia or Raphael's wife or whatever. But um, she chose to just. You know, leave on a high. It's like when you struggle with the camel spin, you do a good one and your coach goes, leave it. That's what yeah. Mariah did after her Grand Prix yeah. event. Totally. So, yes, I'll be curious because can she get the silver here? Uh, I don't know. Karen Chen? They'd, you know, I wonder if, if the U.S. would ever give it to her. Give Is she Mariah really the delivered? silver or the gold, you mean? The gold. Well, the problem is, is that they're going to cheat out of their behinds for Alyssa Liu. We are way too far down the line yeah. on that train at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Alyssa could maybe win the novice event in the skating skills, but she's got a lot of work to do. But Right. Well, um, been, and Mariah does have lovely skating skills. I know. But don't you think, are they going to really whack Alyssa Liu on the knee like Nancy Kerrigan yeah. here to try to take <laughs> her out? Like, I mean... We are so on the Alyssa Liu train for Nash for 2022 because we have no one else. Ting right. injured. The father kept making her skate all summer. She's not competing here. Um, she had that ankle, kept recurring. Uh, Hannah Harrell has had injuries. We don't know if she's going to compete or not, but she's not at full strength. Who else? We've got Brady, who's under rotating in the second half, still doesn't have, you know, doesn't have the star quality. So I think that we are so far on the Alyssa Liu train with no one in sight behind her that's going to be ready for 2022. Like, I don't think the Mitchell and Johansson girls are going to like come up and be a star for 2022. So I am thinking... Keep it Alyssa. Keep it Alyssa, right? So, so you're viewing it more as a, view, uh, a fight for the silver between Brady and Mariah. Yeah, because they're going to cheat for Alyssa. Yeah. Last year, it was more of a potential in my mind. Unless Alyssa bombs her big elements here. Right. Or they're so under-rotated or something. They've that they been so under-rotated that. all year and they've given it to her. So Yeah. Yeah. And they haven't gotten better yet. I think that they can get better. I just don't totally. think that they're better yet. And right. she's growing and she's developing. but I And she is, she is putting focus on the things we would like to see her put the focus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that's going to be a slow and steady kind of it's change. It's kind of like putting her at the senior nationals now and watching her do these jumps. It's kind of like if you're baking a bread, right? You okay. don't take the bread out of the oven before it's ready. But we do, in this case, to have her compete against Brady Tonell and Mariah Bell and then chop them off at the knees and be like, oh, well, our own ladies aren't that good. They're losing to a junior. So... Right. Uh, I think it's... Well, that's been happening in Russia for years. I mean, yeah. if they're trying to emulate more of a Russian system. Are they? I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. Neither do they, yeah. Also, we've the... got Amber Glenn, who came out as bisexual, Amber pansexual. <laughs> Amber Glenn. But wait, it... I'm sorry. Wait, shift it back one more time. You didn't know that she came out? Amber Glenn is out of the closet, Jonathan. Well, I, I thought she was just maybe a lesbian. That's not the case. I thought, she said, I thought she said lesbian, and then it was back between bisexual and pansexual. You know, with women and female sexuality, it's more fluid than men. Listen, a woman is, yes. can totally be married to a guy for like 30 years, and no one says anything. And then they met a woman, and they're like, oh, listen, I went on that yoga retreat with Liz from college. She's been married to Aaron for a couple years. You know, women that are very into yoga, they're very open. She's drinking okay. that cacao, and then now she's... I, I kind of had a feeling she was going to get divorced based on the retreat, but I didn't want to like push or ask. And uh, <laughs> well, no, okay, we were on a retreat. We were driving back because they were driving a van across the island, and we went to the beach. And people, you know, after the sun tired, everyone doing all that yoga at six a.m. Everyone's tired, mm-hmm. and I kind of heard her talking about her marriage, and I was like, hmm, because I knew the guy in college. And now, Liz is. Diving in the lady pond, okay? Liz is she... Les, okay. <laughs> Her new name is Les, okay. <laughs> I was like, Liz. Oh, interesting. Okay, can I be honest? 
Yeah. I don't exactly. Pansexual just means like anything goes. Jonathan, you know that there are some very liberal skating fans who are going to be very offended if we even go into this topic, you know? Okay, I just didn't know the by skating definition. protocol types. I mean, come on, Jonathan. They, I, I just didn't know by definition what when one employs Listen, the word. Listen, we're yeah. old school. We got bullied. No one was out. We had fake girlfriends until we were approximately, I don't know, 17 years old. The kids, right. when they come out young, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's yeah, forever. Okay. I don't know if it's for next week. They just week. feel okay in their own skin and live out loud. I, I don't understand. Apparently in California, <laughs> kids identify as foxes. There are things called furries, and they're, that's considered as legitimate as anything else. So, all right. You know, you know. I hope everyone finds whatever it is they're looking for. So, yes. yeah. so, <laughs> I, I, you, know, so you know what? More power to Amber, okay? Yeah. We wouldn't know because she didn't even get a whole article. They only mentioned it in the footnote of a Kane and the Duke article. That like, oh, and Amber Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> out of the closet. She's kind of gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, again, as we noticed with um, the Ice Dancers last year, mm. I mean, there is, and it's not to sound like we would exploit the she fact that- She got another article about being bisexual to promote Cirque du Soleil, so. Okay. I, I mean, I think there are news outlets that may find it very interesting. Yeah. So. So, they're, but they're promoting the show. That's why they're putting that forward. They yeah, can get of course, that, of You know. So, I don't know. Amber Glenn. Maybe they'll mention it. Johnny and Tara have always liked her, so they. Yeah. Um... Well, she's, she's a fun, a fun jumper to watch, for she's sure. A... I just wish well, that's it was butch. less angsty. Yeah, I mean, but I just wish it was less angsty programs because they seem to fight instead of enhance her. Well, now that she's out of the closet, I think we can get better songs from Lilith Fair for her to skate to. Don't a you think? Go to something or other. Oh yeah. my God! A little Tory. A yeah. little. Um, come on. Did Tracy Chapman ever come out of the closet? I mean, the songs did it for her, but that like... Oh, kind of I skated call. to Tracy Chapman back in the day. <laughs> I'll give you a reason to stay here, Dave. <laughs> give me one reason to stay here. <laughs> oh, come on, Amber. I wish I had her low notes. She's like the B. Arthur of that generation. <laughs> come on, Amber Glenn. This is how I see you to do it. You're skating at the ice. So you're like giving a little shoulder. Give me one reason to stay here. Back cross strokes. And I'll turn myself around. And oh, get it? Yeah. And you're Why a U.S. You skater, so that's yourself. when you turn around because you know yeah. we're very literal. Scott Brown choreography, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I don't want to be lonely. <laughs> I'll make you watch me. Oh. Get it? Get it? Baby, I got your number. And she'll and write out a number. She'll call it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. There's one gymnast who signs her name, but of course she does it backwards for the audience. But it's fine, okay? Okay, uh, Hebrew. <laughs> okay. So I think Amber Glenn can be way more interesting now that she's out of the closet, okay? I agreed, agreed. She has that fact. Remember, she's from Texas, maybe Corsicana. Maybe she has a grandmother in Corsicana. We don't know, okay? Okay, you don't know, yeah. <laughs> Right? I mean, now she's living her best life, okay? Yeah. Many you see those, her computer? You know, there are many boys at the rink that we thought would get footnotes in an article about coming out of the closet. Still haven't done it yet. So you know what, Amber? You live your You out take loud. that footnote. You take that footnote. Take that footnote. That was your moment, honey. Now you need yeah. better short program for the Nationals. Tracy Chapman, okay? Get a better mm -hmm. dress, too. All these like sad ballads, Amber. Live well, out loud. They're, they're washed out, so it, they lack kind of presence, and you want her to have a presence. I think she needs a real like Sarah McLaughlin, maybe a song where there could be like puppies crying on TV, one of those commercials. <laughs> yeah, in the eyes of an angel. <laughs> oh my God, she should get the Amber Corwin one when she skated in 2001 at the Nationals. She skated to um, Natalie Merchant. That could be oh, a great. Oh, I loved Natalie Merchant. Ophelia. Yes. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. So Tracy Chapman short for Amber, Ophelia long. Okay. There you go. There All you the go. lesbians will love Amber. Okay. <laughs> Work that market. Oh my God. Amber, <laughs> get a haircut too. You want it short and style. Look like Lisa McKinnon, yeah. the, um, or Robin, you know, the Swedish singer. Oh, you need a new do mm. a whole new look, Amber. Okay. It's yeah. a whole, the talent's there. Talent is there, Amber. We'll make you a star, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh we got God. this. My inner Monica Aldama is coming out, okay? We know That's just right. what to do. Do you see Do you see her? Um, I think she's an easy Ask block the question. for the pewter. For the pewter. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Sen oh, yeah. Senator of four continents, honey. Amber Glenn, yeah. all right? I'm not invested in Hen Harrell. I would send Amber. You know what? Yeah. 
she's entertaining. We need all of the token personalities in this game. Because, I, and I don't, I think Amber could deliver a technical number that just Karen can't compete with. Yeah, I mean, we have Brady Tunnell, who has the personality of a girl on the golf team. So I think that we need Amber and Mariah to really keep the interest level up for Four Continents. Just spice it up, yeah. Yes, okay. And we've got the Gracie Gold comeback. I'm still oh, fascinated. Right. Oh, gosh. Remember then that article, remember that video she said that she was taking a lot of Sudafed um, before nationals? And I wanted to be like, were you making math? Is that what you were saying? Like, why yeah. were there no follow-up questions there? Like, In what case that too- shows up on it's- like a toxicology report? I don't know. Well, no. Didn't you ever watch Breaking Bad? Or like, that's why we have to get Sudafed from behind the counter. Like, she was just taking right. it as a performance enhancer? Like, what? Like that? Really, they left us hanging. I wanted follow-up questions in that video. Like, right. no, no judgment, just curious. Like, what was yeah. the Sudafed for? Well, maybe a little judgment if you were on that. No, so. there is no judgment. I want to know what okay. was Gracie doing. Okay. Okay. Give us the full story. Give us the full story with the Sudafed. How was that performance enhancing? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Make me drowsy, wouldn't it? That was 2016. That was the Firebird year. So, I don't know. That was a real... Um, and was it a red herring or was it a real shocker? I don't know what it was. We, we, we got to ask Gracie. Christine Brennan, ask Gracie about the Sudafed. Okay. <laughs> That's right, please. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. Also, like, get the full story, Christine, because we've never, they've, no one has ever done it. No one has ever, like. I mean, honestly, though, like, I, she'll go and she'll get some, I think, non skating kind of outlets will be very interested in this story, but. NBC We're... sure as will be. Come on, she's skating. Do you see her top 10? Yes. And there's yeah. no one competing. Uh, certainly yeah. in the short. Oh, come right. on. If she can't beat Gabriella Izzo and Emilia Murdoch. Come on. Right. Sarah Jung. Right. Sierra Veneta. Right. Paige Rydberg. Listen, come on. Gracie is, she is still <laughs> an Olympian who can do mm-hmm. a triple Lutz. She's been maybe practicing a couple more run-throughs than she did before the section. Yeah, I mean, that will be the question. Like it this, like the, the very she's first been, time. She, she's been quiet, right? Uh, well, for her, yes. You know. Well, meaning, like, have we seen much since sectionals? In well, the no, way, no, uh, Vincent is fired. Remember, right? So. so now we have no access to seeing what's happening. But we did see her like post that she was working out, doing like five minute lunges. So, I don't know. All I know is that I hate the short program and it makes me giggle. But the long. Because she points. She points at the people during that very literal choreography. when she Right. Starts. And a little um, apologetically as well. Like she knows it's I not. I feel like when like, you're not feeling the hottest, it's not a moment to skate to. I put a spell on you. Like that's not And just because moment. someone says you doesn't mean you have to point at us to know it means you. Oh my God. But if she pointed at you in the audience, would you be like. <laughs> I want just someone to put up a picture of young you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I put a spell on young you. You can't help the puns, Jonathan. You can't help them. I know. It's a disease. It's a disease. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, Yeah. So, uh, Gracie, I don't know about the long. Um, Okay. This is my prayer. This is my prayer of what I want to happen. As my producer brain is on. If Gracie goes clean in the short, we need to cheat her. Top six. Okay. Okay. And I want you to tell me why we shouldn't. Well, because I'm wondering. I mean, I could. I feel like I know for sure the four that will be ahead of her. That's fine. Star. Could go either way, technically. Um, but really, that's it. Because you said Hannah is a question mark. So Star has not given us a viral moment in years. She's not skating to her own vocals this season. She's not whipping her hair back and forth. I'm mm-hmm. not invested. Okay, Star? Right. You need to make and me it, care. And what made me really sad, even though, I mean, obviously we knew this was coming, was is going to be the absence of Tang, no, who for me was always like a very special moment. Even if she was imploding, it was just like the no, glimmer of hope. We that, love the head case problem. that's going to break our hearts because the dad is a tiger father who can't train two programs at once. I mean, come on. No. Let's... Um, and you ever wonder if there's a learning curve there? Does no. he realize? No! That, crazy yeah, is crazy, exactly. okay? Yeah. They never learn, all right? Yeah. It wasn't his first year in skating, okay? Right. Gabby Dalman isn't getting better, okay? Let's... Right. Come on. She's... Oh, how many times is she on the... She's going to do... This is going to be the moment, okay? That's it. This pneumonia recovery is going to be the one that takes her to victory. Yes. 
please. Is there a pneumonia test? I haven't had pneumonia in a while. Like, how do we? I would like to see test results. That's what I want to see. Okay. I mean, a pneumonia is no joke. Like, IFS magazine. I understand that they're not the New York Times, but like, I would have wanted a doctor's report before I retweeted that. Okay. Like, I just come on. You quoted her. I wouldn't put my. I would not put. <laughs> my name, my name. Gabby Dale, man. Yeah. Okay, no way. Don't call me PJ Kwong. Okay, I'm not writing that mother's story about concussions. Well, even even Lee Barkell kind of distanced himself a bit sure in, in the early part of this season. Sure so, has. Well, He's getting new skaters by the day. Okay, ones that are even if um, unreliably technically or something very hard workers that are probably not full of these kinds of shenanigans. Imagine so. if Vincent Zoe and that mother seems like a better option. Okay, that was. Also a world bronze medalist. Because <laughs> he didn't have his hands full already, okay? Right, he is exactly. slim pickings after living the cricket club. You have to rebuild and take what you can get. Okay, Jonathan, right. so... Names are names, yeah. It's okay. She's going to get him the kiss and cry, and that is what matters, okay? Right. Oh my God. Getting that coaching fee from the Federation. He gets to... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, he gets to go to Canadian Nationals, to U.S. Nationals. Those are two audiences of crazy parents who can send their children to him, okay? True. Anyway, anyway, moving along. Uh, Courtney Hicks back for another year. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I not, mean, in Greensboro, of all places for her. She's now like a Colorado girl through and through. So, yeah. All right. Gabriella Izzo, Sarah Jung, Lemmy Murdoch, Alyssa Rich, Paige Ryberg, Sierra Veneta. And Emily Zhang, I think Emily Zhang is like the dark horse. She had a rough short program uh, in Poland, but I think she will deliver another free skate. So she's now, working hard jumps on the- practice. I know what the rumors are, but I'm intrigued what you'll say about Emmy Ma. What about Emmy Ma? What are the rumors? Where is Emmy Ma? I don't know where Emmy Ma is. She's not here. It was my understanding, and this was all oh, wait. just like- was she going to compete for China, Emmy Ma? That was it? the story. Whether that was legitimate or not, I didn't understand. I if can't that was... keep track who they're stealing from us and not these right. days, okay? I mean, I was very invested in her career. Like, I was on the, um, the short, but she the was, short program. She was one of those that was, like, strong enough that she was always going to kind of be around that, that like, middle area. 16th? Like, I, okay. Yeah. Like, Emmy Ma. Maybe. There well, there's the one from China that worked with a Terry. That's the one I'm confused. That's the one I'm invested in. But that's not Emmy Ma. So, okay. I think she did go to China, Emmy Ma. I think she did. But if you don't go to work with the Terry, you're just boring to me. Like I'm not into that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're clearly sending the the real potential to yeah. the Terry. Well, in the men's event, Jason Brown against Tomoki. Against Vincent Zoe, who will get the three spots for um, for Four Continents and for the Nationals? I mean, for the Worlds, will Nathan Chen go to Four Continents? Yeah, will I would. I would think perhaps Nathan would not. I don't think Nathan is. Shoma is not. I think Han Yu will. I think it's going to be Han Yu's moment. So, okay. and if you're Nathan, let him have it. You know, I mean, you you take your time and rest up for Worlds. Mm -hmm. um, so that that shouldn't could be Han Yu be resting up for Worlds? I mean, that's. Maybe he wants to put out yeah. more difficult content as a test. So who knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm. I really thought Tomoki heading into this season was going to do a thing. The material is a miss, and uh, the delivery of the jumps is a miss. So it's been a bit unfortunate. I don't. I still see him in that pewter position. I know someone was telling. Yeah. So Tomoki, I think it's a struggle. I think. The parents are maybe less involved this year. Maybe the Tiger parenting needs to get back on board with these boys. These boys, you know, we let them go for a couple of weeks. They drop out of the Grand Prix. So we need to keep on these boys. We need to make sure that they are working. Remember what Terry said about boys, Jonathan? They are just not yeah, tough enough. Yeah, too whiny. Too whiny. Whiny and not tough. And we're seeing it with our, these U.S. men, okay? Um, Jimmy Ma, our favorite... Not skating for China. <laughs> Not listen. He's like a rapper, and the Nikolai footwork that he gets from Kolya, all the moves. So uh, yeah. But even in this iteration, um, not the most successful version of that kind of ideology. Oh happening. my God! Talk about another Canadian. There was a, there was one that was like, I think Nam has the best blues for Kluk this season, and I was like, who gives a shit? Like him or Jimmy <laughs> yeah, Ma? Is that like, a competition? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
I guess he does. <laughs> Thanks for writing. Um, yeah. Anyway, we have Jordan Smash Moeller. Smash that like button. <laughs> we have Jordan Moeller, who is uh, back for another year. Remember, he had a rough skate. Um, it was so bad that a homeless man <laughs> asked him if he was okay. Right. Speaking of homeless people, driving back from dinner the other night. Okay. Michael Shanley had a couple of wines at dinner. We're, we're driving home and that we were at a light and there was a homeless guy who didn't get his sign out in time for the change of the light to ask for money or whatever. And Michael Shanley was like shading him that he should be a more prepared homeless person. And I was like, Michael, he's homeless for a reason. Okay. Like, I, I, you're going to need to check yourself on this. He's homeless for a reason. Oh my God. Like, he maybe didn't seem the most sober like uh, you know yeah. uh, we're in newark he's not in a shelter like the man is struggling yeah and is struggling but michael shanley's yeah. like he should have that you know he should be more a terry on top of this having that sign ready to go <laughs> like, michael now shanley. we're shipping the the newark homeless population to a terry to be better prepared for a sign yes okay jonathan like okay. i was like okay. michael you are just <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I will never, anytime I see Jordan Moeller post about his show career, I'm like, you really had that like two page Instagram post about the homeless man. Like we mm -hmm. didn't know where this was going. I don't, some of these skaters. Okay. Sean Rabbit back for another year. Oh dear. Okay. Always his last season. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. All right. It's been like the retirement. But an entertaining watch at least. So. Yes. The Share Farewell Tour has gone on for five consecutive years and we have... <laughs> Well, <laughs> I think that Sean will deliver a triple triple, a double axle, um, some more triples, just as like he does every season. So he was very inspired at the Japanese national. So he got to right. watch that. So it, it keeps going. Um, Camden Polkinen. It, it's our middle. It's our middle crew here that I'm intrigued by. That Camden, Torgashev, and Kuznojan. Um, is it the middle crew or is it really the first group of skaters that you're the most intrigued by? The real, remember the ones yeah. from that, where was our favorite skating club in Arizona? How are they doing? Oh, they um, Coyote, something. The Coyote, Coyote Figure Skating yeah. Club. That is yeah. always my. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> legendary at 2016 Nationals. Coyote Figure Skating Club, yes. It was epic. Mm -hmm. I would put Jordan Moeller with them, Sean Rabbit, yes, okay. The whole gang. Emmanuel yeah. Savari, um, left mm. Tom Z. But always a beautiful a skater yes. to watch that you wondered why it wasn't more organized because it should have been he's been, a been to a lot of different coaches he was with frank at one point in time so a lot of yeah. time there um, beautiful air position when he gets it right yeah uh andrew Torgashev, din tran and vincent joe so Torgashev is the one that i i really kind of hope has his moment camden i've almost i'm resigned to think that that may not happen but I don't know. um he's working those spins before the nationals i i don't know if i have hope oh Kresnojan, who I mean, had that scary flip moment. So, yeah. And those the outrageously aggressive footwork sequences that are kind of fun yet scary to watch. Yeah, in the lower ranks, we have to watch how this whole new qualifying system, remember there's no um, the novice events because the top novice can compete in the junior. So it's this whole thing going on at the nationals that people don't really seem to understand or... <laughs> Be invested in but i'm ready for the nationals jonathan i'm ready in every discipline i feel as am i yeah i'm excited i'm excited you're excited now aren't you i'm yeah i am because there's there's a lot of showdowns at in every discipline in every sort of ranking region like even even if certain people aren't competitive to go to worlds or something it will still be interesting to see how four five six fall you know, in, in almost every discipline. Oh, and in the junior men, we've got David Shapiro, the beautiful mm -hmm. skater uh, from... Obsessed. Yeah, Obsessed. incredible. Maxim Naumov, son of Shishkova Naumov. Matthew Nielsen from Instagram. I'm hearing that Ilya Malinin is going to withdraw because of a back injury. Then we have Joe Klein, who was the novice mm -hmm. who got moved up. Lovely Joseph skater. Joseph Kang, good skater. So um, Eric Schoberg from Raphael and the good mm -hmm. eyebrows. So... I am invested in some of these men. We've got Avon Lee Nguyen and Vadim Kolesnik uh, for the junior title. Um, yeah, lots going on. Um, in the junior pairs, we've got um, skaters. Um, and in the... <laughs> <laughs> and in the ladies' event, we have... Um, 
Isabella, uh, Isabel Levito and other skaters. So I'm ready for this event, Jonathan. I'm ready. Do, for do you watch 30 Rock, Dave? No. Is but, that, is that one of your shows? That's one of my shows. There's one where clearly Jenna Maroney, you know, um, Jane Krakowski, they're like, she's asked to sing at some sort of weird event. And they're like, a singer, everyone. <laughs> like it was so clear. And that's, that's what that reminded me of when you're like, and skaters in this discipline. That's and what I was going for. And other discipline. Yeah, that worked. That worked. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Jonathan, we can, we can. Oh, oh, we can. We will. We will. We must. We must. We must. Okay. We, we can. Must. They do it we twice. Will. Okay. We can. can. Okay. Wait, we're, we're wiping the slate clean. You're Monica. Yeah. Oh, I'm all the troubled always. people that need Monica. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can. Mm -hmm. We can. We will. We will. We must. We must. We can. We can. We will. We will. We must. We must. Hold an edge. Look sexy. Bye, everyone.